Vitale makes his way to the ring, Mike, you think this is a win or maybe retire situation for Nico Vitale, who was already entertaining the idea of retiring. But you get the feeling. You have that assumption. You have that idea that this may be his last go at becoming a champion once again. You got to think also, is this uh, added pressure because this is a must-win fight for him? Or is this no pressure because either way he's ready to retire in case he doesn't win? Here comes Robbie Lawler. He's the champ. It's been pretty devastating in his, um, his last win over Nico Vitale. Definitely back and forth. Nico should have the confidence he can deal with Robbie standing up. Dominated the takedown. Almost got Robbie in submissions. Hopefully he can build on that past performance. To see if he can turn the corner on Robbie, but Robbie's a tough character. Robbie Lawler comes in a bigger fighter. He's been lifting weights. He admits to it. He admits that he's been hitting the weights. And that may make it a little tougher for Nico to take Robbie down. We saw in the first fight last July, Vitale really get an advantage in terms of the strength factor and getting Lawler to the ground, body slammed a couple of times. It may be a little bit of a different type of fight tonight because of the size gained by Robbie. Made, make it a little more difficult for Nico to do his thing. Definitely. Robbie always has been, has been a great wrestler. And I was actually surprised at the ease that Nico was able to take him down. A lot of other guys that are known as better wrestlers had a hard time taking Lawler down. And, you know, he's been able to kind of sprawl and brawl with those heavy hands, using that great wrestling ability, kind of hurt people. Let's listen to the intros. This event is sponsored by Steinlager. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your main event. These two icon sport fighters are going to battle live from the Blaisdell Arena right here in Honolulu, Hawaii. Are you? Fighting out of the red corner, fighting out of the 808 Fight Factory in Waipahu, Hawaii. He holds a professional record of 20 wins and only 5 losses. He is the former Icon Sport World Middleweight Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Fala Nico Vitale! He's got his following, always will, always has. And now, fighting out of the blue corner, fighting out of Myotech Fighting Systems in Davenport, Iowa. He holds a record of 10 wins and only three losses. He is the current Icon Sport World Middleweight Champion, Ruthless Robbie Lawler! And look at the face on Ruthless Robbie Lawler out of Militich Fighting System in Davenport, Iowa. Definitely a different look on Robbie. Nico seemed to have not an aggressive type of face, so, you know, what kind of mindset is he going to come in? He's going to come in just more relaxed and maybe that's to his advantage? Well, he walked into Motown music, which is kind of a different way to go about things. You don't normally see that in the mixed martial arts ring, but here we go. The first fight was epic. Nico had the advantage until Lawler connected with a knee to the head that eventually won him the fight. Let's see if Robbie comes in as aggressive. He started the last fight very aggressive right off the bat. Right off of the bat. And now, unlike the last fight, both fighters taking a few moments to size each other up. Lawler going upstairs with a kick. Good block by Nico. Nico waiting. Nico patient. Nico looking. Here he comes. Robbie tried to go for a takedown this time. Vitale very difficult to take down by any man. And now they loosen up grips. They'll stand toe to toe once more. Lawler out of the southpaw position. All his career, since he was 19 years old, stepping into a UFC ring, he has thrown bombs. 
kind of changed up his game a little bit as of late, throwing a lot more kicks. He's more of a keep his legs on the ground, fire those hands. Nico, simply one of the best athletes to ever step into an MMA ring. Phenomenal athlete. Very, very difficult to take on, as you said. And now these two fighters looking a lot like the state championship in the 145-pound division between Young and Kikuchi. They are showing some patience, maybe a little too much, at least for the crowd standards. Looks like Nico's changed his uh, stance a little bit. And an inside kick. Protecting that chin a little more than he normally does. Good right by Nico, followed it with a combination. Now they're on the jab, a little bit on the defensive. They mix it up again. And Nico kind of standing his ground as well. Going up and up. Some have had the mindset coming in, some of the analysts saying that Nico would be much better off trying to take Lawler to the ground. That Lawler in a slugfest would have the huge advantage, but so far they have gone up and up. Three minutes remaining in round one. And they exchange kicks to the inside of the leg. Robbie has been knocked out before, so he knows that his chin has been tested, and sometimes that test has failed for him. Nico, who is trained under AMC Pancration as of late, which has changed his style a little bit, or maybe his approach. And you see, being more patient, maybe looking to save some in the tank, not exhaust so much so early. Chasing Lawler into the corner. And there's a right hand. Body blow, followed by an up top hit. There's a couple of knees to the face. Nico getting some points on that extreme. Good left right combo by Vitale. Leads with the right. Good uppercut. That one caught Lawler. Probably still kind of pushed the fight until the last exchange right there, and he kind of backed up, reset himself. Nico maybe getting some confidence. Starting to close in. Good right hand. Connects to the face of Robbie Lawler. Now to watch out for this. He grabs and holds. His other hand goes down. You see a big hook comes on. Tell little Nico's hands when he throws those punches. And this is the area that Nico ran into trouble in the last fight. Put his head down, almost out of exhaustion. And maybe that's why it seems as though he's pacing himself more in this fight. 140 left to go. Good straight right by Nico. May have gotten through, may have not. It's like a little redness on Robbie's face. It looks like he has been connecting with those punches. Oh, left hook by Robbie just misses the nose of the nice Good cut. combo by Vitali, oh. but he gets caught by Lala. Lawler catches him with a heavy right. He throws the combo, goes out. and Nico goes down. And Robbie Lawler has won by KO again. Robbie took Nico's punches, fired back. And Nico goes down. Looked like he was down on it. He actually was out on his feet there for a while. Robbie Lawler, the brawler, ruthless, throwing bombs his entire career. Puts it on display once again at the Blaisdell, much to the dismay of Nico Vitale. And Nico got his bell rung. Official time, 3 minutes, 38 seconds, round number one, knockout. And still, Icon Sport World Champion, Ruthless Robbie. Well, that seemed to be what happened in the first fight. Nico came out firing, connected on some blows. Lawler took those punches, absorbed them, and just waited for his chance. And once he connected, he definitely made the most of this chance right there. But Lawler has been a classy champ. There's no doubt about that. Come on, it was a non-title fight, so he would have maintained his belt anyway. But Robbie Lawler going 2-0 and against Nico. Robbie Lawler, once again, Although it was one round, a wild round, Nico was getting you once again. Were you expecting that? Is that the way you're going to fight him anytime you fight him? Let him hit you a whole bunch of times and then finally get to him? The thing is, is I'm rolling with him. They're glancing off. He was hitting very hard. Uh, I wanted him to wear himself out and I wanted to stay tight with my punches and I did. And what, what, is, it, what is the punch that got home? We'll see if we can see it up on the big screen in just a minute. What finished it? Probably a right hand, but who knows? 
Once again, Robbie Lawler with a, a dominating performance tonight in the Icon Ring. Here, here, tell us right here what's happening. He's pressing, I'm staying tight, keeping my hands up, and I wanted to just stay tight with a hook or a left hand. I'm gonna push him back, I just wanna stay close right here. Don't let him rest there. He's hitting me with uppercuts, I hit him with a right there. He's hurt, I'm stalking. Boom, right there, boom. Hey, I wanna thank Nico, he took this fight. He's a tough opponent with a lot of heart. Hats off to Nico Vitale, Hawaii. I love this guy, he shows a lot of heart and he comes to fight every time. Don't ever disrespect someone who comes in this ring and fights as hard as he did. I tell you what, you are looking unstoppable as our champion. There was one guy that was supposed to be in this ring with you tonight, Jason Mayhem Miller. It looks what like Miller might be coming down. For Mayhem? I'm gonna work on my game, go back, get stronger, get a little quicker, work on my ground skills, and I'll be ready. Bring it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your icon, sport champion, middleweight division, the ruthless one, Robbie Lawler. Once again, big mahalo going out to Steinlager, your presenting sponsor. Hold on a second, ladies and gentlemen, hold on one moment. I see the red stripe of doom. Come on up here for a second, Mayhem. Here we go. Mayhem, what do you think of that fight? Woo! Good job tonight, man. Just know, though, it's not going to be that easy when I'm standing in this ring. I'll be training hard a minute. Who knows how long it'll go. I'll be ready. I'll be standing here. What's it going to take to beat Robbie Lawler? Everything right here, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, look for this fight in the very near future. Ruthless Robbie Lawler, Jason Mayhem Miller in an icon ring near you. Well, there you have it.